Yo, it is good, yo, it's your boy Tom, back here with another video. In this video today, we are going to be talking about all of the new Idols players that did get released today, including the new Invincible Dirk Nowinski card. So obviously, we got Hassan Whiteside, Galinari, John Morant, Dark Matter, Glenn Rice, D-Book, who maybe, maybe, depending on his release, might finally be okay as well as the invincible Dirk Nowitzki. Now, before we dive into it, if you are new to my channel and have not yet, please consider smashing that subscribe button. So we're on the road to 70,000 subscribers, starting off with Hassan Whiteside here. First thing I don't like about Hassan are his hotspots. So if you play on current gen, the lack of hotspots from above the break for this current time in 2K, it's kind of a downfall. 40, 41 all the famers, four on gold. This is seven feet tall with the good wingspan at seven feet seven. Only an 83 ball, 90 driving deck, 85 speed of ball, 83 ball, no 88 speed acceleration, 90 lateral quickness, Hall of Fame showtime, lacks a ton of shooting badges, lacks a ton of playmaking badges, even no quick first step. Defensively, he's solid, but I'd be lying to say Hassan Whiteside was a complete guard. This card actually stinks, guys. Like, I don't want to just sit here and say this card stinks, but this card stinks. Shifty dribble style, can't pro two on either gen. This card stinks. I'm sorry if you're a massive Hassan Whiteside fan watching this video, but this card might be one of the worst cards we will see for the rest of the year. This card, just think of like those Idols players that you have to grind, not the Idols players, but the players you have to grind for every week. Just throw Hassan Whiteside into those. So those Season Rewind players that you have to grind for, Hassan Whiteside's basically one of them. I'm gassing. He's a little bit better than those guys, but he's not very good at all. Then we're going to get to a card that I'm excited about in Danilo Garlandari. 6'10", 7'1", wingspan, hot spots from everywhere. 45 out of the favors, 13 on gold, 97 three ball, only an 85 driving duck would like to see that a little bit higher. 91 two ball, 86 ball, 92 speed acceleration, 92 lateral quickness, only gold showtime. Shooting wise has everything, no steady, good for players on current gen. Hall of Fame play, bailout, quick first step, space creator, unplugable needle threader. Defensively, he's very solid as well. If there's one thing I know, okay, yeah, he's gotten decent enough tendencies. If there's one thing I know about Gallo is that this release is going to be chicken. It's going to be absolutely incredible. Gallo base with Gallo upper you can't ask for a better release or a more greenable release shifty dribble style pro two size escape pro three movement back i actually think gallo is going to be going under the radar just because he doesn't look that good but trust me a release can make or break a card and if it's anything like this diamonds release galinari is going to be under the radar for how good he is next is the galaxy opal john morant six foot three six seven wingspan and honestly guys Looks pretty comparable to the Dark Matter Ja. Hot spots for 44 out of favors, 15 on gold, 95 three ball, 98 driving duck, 96 speed ball, 94 ball handle, 96 speed acceleration, 95 lateral quickness, Hall of Fame showtime, Hall of Fame range. Does come with the Hall of Fame blinders. I don't, does this one have Hall of Fame blinders? This one did not. So that's the one difference I would say is that Ja Morant does have the Hall of Fame blinders. So if you're on next gen, that is a good thing. If you're on current gen, that basically just means that this John Morant is not a card you want to use. Quick dribble style, pro two size escape. He does have the pro two moving by the back. I'll say there's a lot of problems with John Morant, but when it comes down to it, I mean, statistically speaking, they're basically identical cards. Minus a few, plus a few stats. I mean, they're basically identical cards. So if you prefer one John Morant to the other, that's fine. I'm just not a big fan of either. Next, Glenn Rice here, six foot seven, six ten, wingspan with hot spots from everywhere on the court. Fifty-one out of famers, fifteen on gold, ninety-nine three ball, only an eighty-five driving duck, ninety-two speed ball, an eighty-six bonus, ninety-three speed acceleration, nine eighty-nine lateral quickness. We're just seeing a lot of these cards that have kind of mid all-around stats. Now it does come with only the gold showtime shooting wise, does have Hall of Fame blinders. Quick wise, Hall of Fame ankle breaker, bailout, handle space, you know, through a quick first step, space character style going flexible. Defensively is solid as well. So I mean it's it's okay. I just wish his stats were just a little bit better. Tendencies are fine. Jump shot 13 on very quick eye for effort. At this stage in the game, I'd like to see them give Glenn Rice base 98. That's just me speaking for myself. Jump shot 13 is not a bad release. I want you guys to know that it's not a terrible release. I like Larry Johnson's upper, but I like Larry Johnson more on current gen than next gen, honestly. So this is a next gen made card in Glenn Rice with those that Hall of Fame blinders. Shift driven style pro two size escape pro two tween pro three move by the back. I mean, if you're on next gen, I think he's gonna be better than a lot of people give him credit for. Yes, I do wish he had the, uh, the base 98 release, but I still think on next gen, he's going to be a solid enough card. Devin Booker up next. Point guard, shooting guard, point guard, six foot six, 
6 8 wingspan hot spots from basically everywhere on the court 54 out favors 10 on gold now i'm gonna look at something before anything else jump shot 94 okay here's the thing about devin booker this is our first Devin Booker card that I, I wait the last D book had jumped okay I, I guess the last D book had that as well but I'm used to a Devin Booker with jump shot for now I don't know exactly how this release is going to be on Devin Booker I kind of want to see what the upper is Clarkson's upper okay I'm not against his release we just have to see what it looks like 98 three ball 90 driving duck 95 speed ball 93 ball handle 95 speed acceleration 95 lateral quickness so stat wise is solid hall of fame showtime does come with hall of fame blindness again there's one thing about this set it is a next gen set i want to make that loud and clear this set all around this idols drop not set but this idols drop is primarily for those people who do play on next gen have him ankle breaker bailout interest raising their quick first step dimer space creator stop going pluggable defensively is decently solid tendency wise can't really fault him jump shot 94 on very quick again these are the guys that have that jump shot. It's not bad, right? It's not a bad jump shot. Shifty dribble style, pro two size escape, pro three move on the back. Devin Booker is one of those cards that you're just gonna have to see that release because he's never been Devin Booker, a card in 2K that's been very good. Let's just tell it how it is. In real life, he's incredible. In 2K, he's just never been that next level good. So we'll see. I'm not against Devin Booker or you guys liking Devin Booker, but I'm not gonna hype the card up without seeing him play based on these stats and badges. He just looks fine. Next up, the Invincible Dirk card. Now, I'm going to look at one thing before everything else. He does not come with blinders. So, I said this was a next-gen set, and then the best card in it, Dirk Nowitzki, does not come with blinders. But you guys can see Dirk has everything you could possibly want. Legitimately, everything you could want. 7 feet tall, 7 3 wingspan, hot spots forever, 64 out of favors, 5 on gold. Tendency-wise... I mean, you know, he's an invincible card. He's going to have basically everything. 94 three ball Dirk's upper on very quick. Now, I don't necessarily know about Dirk's upper, but I am. I'm going to give this release the benefit of the doubt, especially for a big man. Shift your style pro two size escape on. I, I don't think he's going to be able to curry on either gen. Maybe on next gen, but I don't think so. Uh, does come with a pro three move on the back. So yeah, it's an upgrade, I think, over his last triple six because I don't think he, had, yeah, he didn't have the pro three move on the back and he didn't have the curry escape. Now, I don't know if he's going to be able to curry on next gen or not. 245 pounds. I think you got to be 244. Uh, but still, even without the curry escape on next gen, he's going to be incredible. And on current gen, we might be looking at the best center in the game. I don't want to sit here and gas Dirk Nowinski up like that. But who are our best centers right now? We got Joel Embiid. We got Chris Tapps, Porzingis. Those are primarily people's top two. And if you don't think Dirk has the potential to be up there in that category, I just think you're mistakenly wrong. That's my personal opinion on it. I'm going to give Dirk every benefit of the doubt until I play with him, until I use that release, because I think Dirk has the capabilities being the best center in NBA 2K21. So all around, guys. On current gen, the only card I'm excited about is Dirk. And after Dirk, I mean, maybe you can be excited about Gallo. That's really it on current gen. If you're on next gen, you can be excited about Dirk. You can be excited about D-Book. I think D-Book, right? He has Hall of Fame blinders, right? Yep. Dirk, D-Book. Glenn Rice has Hall of Fame blinders. Ja Morant has Hall of Fame blinders. So you got three cards. Three out of the four best cards in this set come with the Hall of Fame blinders patch. So if you're on next gen... You should absolutely be excited about this drop. If you're on current gen, it's just a drop that you got to live with, right? The three out of the best four cards or three out of the first four cards you see have those Hall of Fame steady. So just kind of a letdown. But at least Dirk doesn't have it. So if you're on current gen, you could be looking at the best center of the game. So how I'd rank them current gen, Dirk number one. Honestly, I go Gallo two, Glenn Rice three, D-Book four, Ja five, and Hassan six. Next gen, my rankings would go Dirk number one, Glenn Rice number two, D-Book number three. Then I'd probably go Gallo four, Ja five, and Hassan Whiteside six. So those are my rankings for it. This kind of my team update today. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Comment down below which of these players you guys are most excited to add to your specific squad. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love you guys and have a blessed day.